Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the Fly Color Raptor S and this is pretty sweet actually. So this comes in many versions. Um, it does even, some of them do even come with a VTX so it would be like a three stack, but I got the two stack version. Now this is a F3 flight controller with OSD and a four in one ESC which is rated for 40 amps and it's a BB2 ESC, BB2 chip ESC which means BL Heli S. DSHOT 600 is the maximum protocol you'll be able to run on this guy. And as you can see, we do have a current sensor, so that's pretty sweet. The filtration actually looks very good. So let me just take this apart real quick for you guys. Um, in theory, it should be very good. So we're going to be testing this guy for noise right now and seeing how well he is and how good he does. So I have high hopes for this guy because I've only I've only heard very good of these boards. And I've also heard that China, you basically, like in China, the people that fly drones really do like this product. And um, yeah, so we're actually going to test it and see it. So it's pretty sweet. It has like a purple color. It's like something different. So that's awesome. Um, it does connect via pins here with your flight controller. So that makes your life a lot easier. And there's something else to note here. They give you a bunch of, you know, JST silicone wire connectors. And these are actually pretty sweet because they're basically pre-made to do things a lot easier for you. So check this out. So this would go to your VTX. I mean, if you had a VTX that had this type of connector, you would just stick that in you're done. For your camera, the camera's down here. However, you need to take note the cameras from this port gives 12 volts. So just take that into consideration. If you needed 5 volts, you would have to steal it from here. So just take that into consideration here. We're going to use 12 volt because we're using Fox here. So we can handle 12 volt just fine. Um, and it does give you a just basically 100% ready uh, connector for your camera. So you don't even have to solder anything. And here is for our receiver, JST, that's totally fine, and it's pretty much ready for you. You just solder this guy to your receiver, and you're actually basically done after you solder your motors. And um, yeah, so it's pretty nice, pretty sweet, and pretty simple. However, we're not going to be able to connect them and test them together like this, so we're going to have to build it. Uh, just because I'm not going to be able to hijack the pins while this is connected and giving it the disarm command. We're going to rip that guy off. And um, we're going to insert our signal here, and I'm going to inject my noise injection script and set up the oscilloscope and monitor this guy's noise. So uh, enough talking, and let's get started. All right, guys, so how did this one do? It actually did very, very well. I was very surprised and um, very pleased with it, actually. Uh, it averaged, the voltage spike averaged around 18 volts, which is basically nothing, which is very, very good. I'm um, sorry if I'm going to be using very good a lot because I know this upsets a lot of people when I say things like this. But anyways, uh, the voltage drop was, was awesome as well. It was um, between 13 to 15 volts it was averaging, but I'm gonna sh I showed you guys the, the basically one of the worst uh, results I got because I think that's how we should do this. So it's actually better than what you're seeing. Noise perspective, it seems like it's very well. Uh, the voltage regulator should not have any problem um, doing anything with that noise, and that's just normal noise. It's nothing over, over like just too much noise, a crazy noise. It's just right there on the sweet spot. So overall, you know, people, a lot of people told me this is a good one. This is a good one. Please test it. And um, you know what, guys, it, it actually seems like it's a good one, but I can't say anything more because I just tested it on the bench. Uh, however, I'm going to build this right away, right after this video to actually set it up on a, on a, just a test noisy uh, setup on a, on a quadcopter to actually really go through with this because I could not hijack the pins to watch the OSD while we do all this. Um, but overall... I'm I'm impressed. I really am. I, I did not expect this. So, uh, for example, something in its level would be DYS, <laughs> DYS F4 with the F30 amp ESC. Um, my recommendation is to actually stay away from the DYS. This is a trillion times, if not even ten times, more better than that one. The overall uh, quality, the overall setup seems a lot simpler. Um, just everything. The ESC is, is absolutely beautiful uh, in the testing here. I can't say anything else right now until we build it and test it. But if you guys have used it, if anyone's used it, please leave a link. Uh, please leave a comment 
down below and let others know and let, let me know i'm curious as well because it seems like it's going to be a good one so this is the f3 version and i am definitely going to go jump and get the f4 version maybe the one with the vtx i don't know i'll see how much my budget will allow me to get and um i will i'll be definitely testing this guy so this this is going on a build right away um you know I'm, I'm impressed and i've actually heard a couple people from china tell me that you know this is the kind of the go-to brand in china so i'm pretty sure they they know what the what their the brand's really down there because i'm sure they have a lot of companies there that we never even heard of so if they're saying this is a good one and the testing it seems like it's a good one next thing is the real world testing which is we put it on a quadcopter and test it and see how it works out and again if anyone's used it please let us know and well that's all i can really say right now guys so this one's overall seems very good in the testing environment here i'm very impressed with it um i i I, I can't say I recommend it just yet, but through the testing, it seems like it's good. And usually the testing doesn't fail me. And when I take it out, it seems like it's very good. So this one's good. It's awesome. And um, that's all I can really say right now until we build it and fly it. So that's all. Uh, I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.